There's been a lot of buzz lately about coding agents, especially those that run in your terminal. These tools promise to make developers faster and productive by handling everything from code generation to debugging without ever leaving your terminal. In this video, we're going to explore two of the most popular options, OpenAI Codex CLI and Anthropic Cloud Code. We'll explore the kinds of tasks that they can perform, how they approach problem solving. And at the end, I'll give you my verdict on which one I think is the best tool that helps you boost your developer productivity. Now to keep things practical, I'll be testing both tools side by side on the developer platform. So that means spinning up a worker, using Hono, building out an API endpoint, and even connecting to Cloudflare D1. This way you can see exactly how each tool perform in real world scenarios. All right, so let's switch over to my screen and get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to install both tools on our machine. So for OpenAI Codex CLI, you can do this using the npm command, or you can also install it with Brew Install Codex. And for Cloud Code, you do something similar by installing Cloud Code globally so you can use it on your machine. Now I've done both of this. If I go to my terminal and run Codex, I see that Codex is already running on this directory. And on the other side, if I go ahead and run CF Cloud, I can see that Cloud Code is also running. Now we can go on to text out both tools and see the capabilities. For this, I would like to give it a prompt and ask both tools to generate a Cloudflare worker using Huno. And I expect that it should generate it based off of the requirements that I've given in the prompt. So my prompt here says to write a Cloudflare worker using Huno framework, the worker should expose an endpoint called weather that returns the current weather of the user's location based on the request the CF geolocation metadata. So I'm going to paste the same prompt on CF Cloud and on Codex. And let's see what gets generated. I'm expecting very similar response based on the information that I've given, but we'll see the results at the end of it. So here we have Claude is going on to first create the package.json for this and it has installed Hono as a dependency, which I see. Do you want to create the package.json file? I think I'm going to do shift tab so that it automatically accepts those type of requests so I don't have to do it myself all the time. Great. And then I see for OpenAI Codex, we already have a few things generated. So it went ahead to scaffold the worker and also added the configuration file in the workspace. I can preview the worker before accepting it just so that I'm sure that it's doing exactly what I expect it to do. Right here, I have a worker that's importing Hono from Hono. That's great. I also have it specifying the route weather, which is great. I see it's using the request the CF objects to check the current user's location and then using that information, it's um, getting the weather details of the specific user. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this change. And then for Cloud Code, I would also review the code that was generated. Seems like it wrote 130 lines in the index.ts file which is interesting but it's not let's expand that and see if we can see the whole thing okay so i see it's gone ahead to create a typescript config file so the difference that i see already from both is for cloud code cloud code went ahead to define types for the application also i see that it's added an extra um, route at the home before going ahead to add the weather route, but it does very similar things. So the code for Claude looks more extensive than the code from 
codex but let me apply both and then we can actually run it to see the implementation details nice so codex is done it's giving me a rundown of what it did so it added a hono based cloudflare worker with the weather endpoints and shows me how it works and how to actually install it so let's go ahead and install it so first we need to npm install npm install you know what let's go ahead and open up this in our editor just so that we see the files that was created so i see the i see the index.cs file great i see a package.json file and it's just it only has the dependency who know and nothing else in it and i see this so i need to explicitly tell it to add the scripts for me here i would expect that it would do that automatically but it did not so let's do that so that's one extra step that i have to do can you add scripts for this project npm scripts meanwhile let's check on Claude code and see what was generated great so Claude is done and it's also giving me a rundown of what was generated and I need to install the dependencies and then run npm run dev but first let me open this in VS code so I can see was created so right here i see the wrangler.json file this looks like it has more config compared to the one that codex created and in the packet.json file here i see the scripts needed to run this application so let's go ahead and run it npm install and npm run dev So we have our application running. I'm just going to go ahead and test it out and see what we have. So this is my Cloudflare worker. I expect that it should return the weather for my current location if I navigate to the route weather. So let's do that slash weather. And I see exactly that information. I see my latitude, longitude, the city where I'm from where i'm in and some weather information that looks great this is from cloud code now let's test out the code codex generated so i'll go ahead and apply this change so now i can run npm install and then npm run dev i see some extra thing i'm missing it looks like it did not add the wrangler dependency for this project which is something that is required to run the wrangler dev command I would have to tell you to do that. New ensure Wrangler is stored in the project. Great. So now I have Wrangler installed. I'm going to run this again. So npm run dev. And let's try out our applications. The app running on localhost 8787. And when I go to slash weather, Notice the difference that here we don't have the the home route. We don't have anything there. It's basically fall for not found. So when I go to slash weather, I see that it's working. I can see the current weather of my location. This is great. So based on my trial of both tools and also testing them side by side with the same prompts, I didn't change anything in the prompts that I gave to open AI versus the one that I give to Cloud Code. I find that Cloud Code has more context and it knows exactly what to do compared to open AI codex. I might be wrong and this could just be for the specific use case or demo that I've shown, but I want to believe that you can add a bit more context. For example, I know that with open AI codex, you can create an agent.md file for instructions for codex specifically related to creating a Cloudflare worker project. Otherwise, I could also create the project from scratch and then he knows exactly what to, to do because he already has context as to this, it's working in a Cloudflare worker directory already. 
I could have one shot this example if I give gave him more context, right? But the fact that I have to go in and reiterate my prompt a few times wasn't a nice experience. So for this round, I'll give it to Claude Code because I was able to get even more details in my code. For example, it went on to define types for me without me asking it to do that. It also added the index route information there about the, the, the projects, even without me specifying that in my prompt. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. The idea was to show you side by side the comparison of OpenAI Codex and Cloud Code. I believe they are both great tools that can help you boost your productivity as a developer. Or if you're looking to pick which one to go for, maybe this video would help you make that decision. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.